Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I have decided to start the vlog on Wednesday, mainly because um, I've been feeling pretty rubbish over the past couple of days, like really, really rubbish. I've been ill, which has been a pain, um, and I've not been sleeping well. I've been waking up in the night, which has been not very nice. I guess you guys might feel the same, but I, whenever I don't get a full good night's sleep, I just don't function that well the next day. So um, last night, it was the first night I slept all the way through, which is fantastic. I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm a bit shiny because I've just done my skincare because I've just come back from the gym. So I've taken all the sweatiness off my face. Um, if you hear any weird noises today, it's because it is flipping windy. Like seriously, seriously windy. Um, we've already had some stuff that have like fallen over. So hopefully nothing too drastic kind of comes down. Hopefully no trees come down near where I live because I live around a lot of trees in the countryside. Um, oh, I'm clicking buttons when I'm not supposed to click buttons. This is very hard. I've, because I've got my skincare hands, I'm holding my camera. I'm trying not to get it all gooey. Um, I really should have put the tripod on, but you know, all this chilled vlogging style, you know. Um, so I was going to start obviously vlogging yesterday, but obviously I wasn't feeling great, so I decided to bypass that. Today I am going to see my lovely friend Primrose in London. I am so excited. This was kind of a bit spare of the moment. We kind of organised this kind of a couple of days ago. Um, so I'm going to have some lunch and kind of get ready. Um, and I'm going to meet her around the Oxford Street area at around four-ish and then we're going to have a big old catch up and we're gonna take some blog photos which I'm really excited for really getting into taking more photos more frequently of my outfits and things like that um, so yeah so that's today um, and then the rest of the week I don't actually know what I'm doing for the rest of the week I think it's quite chilled again this week um, but this yeah this is me with my shiny forehead oh a little update actually i'm gonna give you a little update um my folliculitis has gone down so much it's so interesting so i'll let the camera i mean it's a little bit kind of there's a little tiny weeny patch of little spots here but compared to what it was it is so much better and the reason why is it's because before i was treating it like acne and I, even though I knew it wasn't acne, I was still treating it like that. So I was actually, try, I was, I, especially on my forehead, I was putting kind of oils and serums on the rest of my face, but I wasn't putting them on my forehead because I thought it would make it worse. And in actual fact, I've been looking at the completely wrong way. Um, I, there's a great blog post that I will link down below that I read that someone has um, written and it is pretty hefty, but if you kind of scroll through, you'll find some brilliant information. Um, so essentially they said, you know, it's actually a condition when you have sensitive skin. And I never thought about it like that. I just thought about it as the oil clogging up the pores, which is what it does. But it's actually the fact that my skin is sensitive and is reacting to the oil in my skin. So um, I've now kind of switched up my products a bit more. I've now putting the oils and the serums back on my forehead. I have gone back onto hyaluronic acid products. And interestingly enough, there is a list on there that this person has done, and they have put down all the products that they recommend that helps maintain it. Because my problem was, I was using the Nizarel, and it was clearing it, and then I would stop using the Nizarel, because obviously I don't want to use it too much because it can burn your forehead, um, especially if you've got sensitive skin. Um, and then it will come back. So I was kind of like, well, how am I going to kind of get rid of it and make sure it doesn't come back and kind of keep on top of it? And so this list of products has been so useful. It's got everything like skincare wise, cleansers, moisturizers, serums, all that jazz. Um, and I actually had some of the products and I also was sent some of the products. I was kind of offered them um, kind of around the same time when I found this list, I was able to say, yes, I would love to try this because this will be really good. Um, funnily enough, some of the product, 
the products on there are things like Bioderma, obviously love Bioderma. Um, and yeah, so that's been really, really good. I'm so happy and it's, it's you know, a lot more confidence in myself. Like I can talk to you on camera with this these little guys here and not be too fussed, whereas before it just covered my entire forehead. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now because I've now just spoken for six minutes. <laughs> and this is only the intro, so okay. On with today, gonna get some lunch, gonna have some food plan my outfit for today and then i will see you when i've probably got some makeup on my face okay goodbye right i am ready to go to london running a little bit late but i've managed to eat lunch and i've got ready i will show you my outfit a little bit later when i'm with primrose but oh my god it's so windy it's actually ridiculous so I don't get blown away Carnaby Street at Daniel Wellington they've got the most adorable floral display outside it's very autumnal we've just had photos haven't we Primrose? Yeah. <laughs> <Yay! laughs> totally oh it's lovely <laughs> There's some very weird sunlight going on here. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> That's a bit better, okay. Um, hello, as you can see, I'm in a car. Today is Friday today. Um, you could probably tell from my voice, um, I've got a bit of a cold, which is extremely annoying. Um, Cause as I told you before, I had um, been ill kind of during the first week. Um, with my tummy and I didn't really get much sleep during the nights. Oh, the sunlight is really not giving me nice nice things. That, that'll do. I've got a bit here, but never mind. Um, yeah, so I'm a bit annoyed that I've got a bit of a cold, but that kind of happens when I go back to work in September when the kids are all back in there, all germy and stuff. So never mind. Um, so I've been feeling a bit rubbish this morning, but I'm actually gonna go for coffee with a friend now. Um, which just have a little catch up, which will be good. Um, but I, uh, today, this morning has just been like me feeling crap. <laughs> so I've dosed myself up and I feel a bit more jolly now. Um, now I've actually got out of the house. The weather has been foul. Like it's been sunny and rainy all at once. It's really bizarre. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping I can now get out before another like shower starts. Um, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I have put my leather jacket on. I'm actually going to be a bit hot now, but never mind. And I actually dried my hair. So, you know, we don't know how long that will last either in this lovely autumnal weather in the UK. So, okay, um, I'm running a bit late. So I'm going to go and um, meet my friend for coffee. So I will see you later. It is not the same week as when I last spoke to you. That makes no sense, but I guess you, I hope you know what I mean. Um, so last time I spoke to you was Friday and I was coming down with a cold and I honestly felt so rubbish and I spent the weekend feeling a bit rubbish, but my cold has now kind of vanished. It's really bizarre, it's really weird. Um, so, I had it kind of over the weekend and now it's just kind of, I'm not like yucky anymore. It's just kind of the last remnants, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so we've I've had a couple of stressful days at work. 
which is a bit of a shame. Um, so I've not really been picking up the camera. It's not been really that kind of in that kind of mood, really. Um, and I've also had a weird allergic reaction around my lips as well. Um, I think they got really dry, but it just looks like I've overlined them. But it's not. It's like a weird little rashing. But that's going down, so that's good. Um, so what I'll, I'll end this vlog here, really, because um, technically I would be starting a new vlog now, but I'm not. Um, I'm ending the vlog. <laughs> But, you know, sometimes it's going to be like that. It's going to be, if I'm feeling a bit ill, it's not really going to be worth me talking to you because I'm going to be all disgusting and also not in the mood. So, um, anyway, I'm going to do some yoga today. I feel like I need to... I was going to go to the gym, but I feel like when you know when you're kind of coming out of an illness, I think you kind of need to ease your way back into exercise, especially if you've not been exercising. Um, so I feel like I need to ease myself back in, go with the breathing, do a bit of yoga, um, and then I'm going to go to the gym either tomorrow or Friday instead. Um, but, and I've also been doing a bit of decluttering, I've been decluttering the makeup and the beauty cupboard. So that's been quite fun, that's been quite therapeutic. So um, I've been taking some time out for me, not been doing as much bloggy stuff um, but I've got a post I'm, I'm starting to write now, I'm getting back into it now, I'm feeling a bit better. So I've had a bit of a week off, um, apart from seeing Primrose last week and seeing a friend for coffee, as you saw. So um, I'm going to end this vlog here. So um, thank you very much for watching, as always. Um, if you like this vlog, give it a big thumbs up and do comment down below. Um, just say hi. Just say hi, hello. And um, what I know, tell me what's the thing you do when you're ill. Like what's your... Um, your comfort thing that you do like for instance I watched Bake Off last night that was my little comfort thing as well um, so let me know what you do when you're ill I'd really like to know um, um, yeah do subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video bye